to look at this question that also involves three circles for a Venn diagram. We have three different modes of transportation. Uh, we use a bus, walking, or a bicycle. So we'll start off by labeling each of the circles. Call this one use of the bus. Bicycle can go over here. We'll just shorten that up to bike. And then for this circle down here will be all those that walk. To fill this in so that we can answer these questions, it's always safest to start in the center where there's the intersection of all three. So 2% use all three forms of transportation. And what we'll do is we'll just put the number two. And when we have percents, we can always make the assumption that the total is 100, because that's what 100% means. Um, so we'll treat this as if there was a, a survey of 100 people, two people use the bus, bike, and walk. And then we start filling in the regions that have two modes of transportation. So ride a bike and walk, there's 10%, or as we're gonna list it, sort of 10 people. Ride a bike and walk, ride a bike and walk. But notice we've already accounted for two of those people. So the 10 that goes here, the 10 that's in this whole region has to get broken up between the two and the eight. So what we did is we took 10 minus two, we got eight. And we'll keep doing this, uh, looking for the regions that have two options, bus and walk, bus and walk, 12%. So 12 will go in this whole region. We've already counted two of them. So 12 minus two is 10 will go here. Okay. Bus and ride a bike. So then again, another two option, bus and ride a bike. This whole region here has 5% or five people. So we've already counted two, five minus two is three, goes in this little region here. And now we can start dealing with the individual uh, section. So like bicycle, there's 20% that's supposed to be in the bike. So in this blue circle, we have a total of 20, but we've already got eight plus two is 10, 13. So we want 20, total we've got 13 so when we do that we find that seven are left that goes out here the ones that use the bus why not hit that up next there's 30 percent over here so that's going to be 30 percent and we've already accounted for 10 plus 2 is 12 plus 3 more 15 we've already counted for 15 so when we do that subtraction, there's another 15 that only take the bus. Let's see, what is missing here? Those who walk. 25% walk. So we have 25% here. Uh, we've accounted for 8 and 2 is 10 plus 10. There's 20 already counted for. So we subtract that off and find that there's five left over here. Now we have to make sure we have the total of 100% because there might be some that don't bus, bike, or walk. Uh, so we add everything together. And so let's see if we can do this by region. Here's a five, here's a five. So those two together are 10, 10 is 20, um, 35, this is 15, 40, 50. Looks like we've accounted for 50% total in, in these three circles. So 100% minus the 50% tells us that there are 50% of the people who don't take any of these forms of transportation. They probably drive. Okay, so what percent of people only ride the bus? The bus only ride the bus. That's this 15 right here. 15%. How many people don't use any alternate transportation? So it was a good thing we did this out here to check 
the hundred, there's fifty percent that don't take any alternate transportation. So that's how you can use a Venn diagram with three circles to track three different characteristics and uh, be able to answer some questions about who does what.